while since I've taken you on a little walk around of the homestead. Ah. We are Jenny and Dominic, and we've been learning to homestead since August 2020 when we moved on to our property in Nova Scotia, Canada. This week, we make it officially a homestead with a beautiful handmade sign. We take you on a mini tour and share what we have going on. First, as always, we are deep into our summer chores with moving pigs, butchering chickens, and pretending we know how to garden. Okay, good morning. It has been, I think, quite a while since I've vlogged anything. But this morning, today's a really big day. We are moving the pigs and we're processing our second batch of chickens for the year. So lots of stuff happening today. Let's go see what Dominic's at now. My job now is to get the food, turn off the fence, and I'm gonna get a tripod for this camera so that we can work. So Dominic is using the reels, poly wire, and the tread in, step in posts to electrify an area for the pigs to stay in, like we do every time. And they'll stay there for a little while, they'll turn up all the soil, make it all nice and fertile, and then they'll move somewhere else. Okay, so you can see that Dominic is taking the poly wire off of the old area and he's putting it around the new area here. It's not totally closed in yet, and all of the electric fencing has been turned off. So we're just waiting for the pigs to not figure out that it's off. And they've been pretty good, because they've been trained to it now for a few months. So that was a uh, somewhat uneventful. Um, the little stripy guy I did get out and was wandering around the woods a little bit, but she came back in. And I guess all is well that ends well. They're hungry, so they're eating. We bought our chickens from <laughs> Couple of those ones right there. The, the new ones. She graciously reached out a few months ago and asked if we wanted a sign for our homestead. And I said yes, and she sent it to me right away. And we wanted to kind of combine this with another project that we were doing um, a little while ago, but all of that fell through. So I really just want to open it now. Um, it's been an embarrassingly long time, but I'm really, really excited to open it up and see what it looks like. It says O'Driscoll's. Oh, she makes them custom. It has a really good weight to it and it is really beautiful. Is that a slab in the back? Yeah. It is. Cool. Yeah. I thought it was on a piece of plywood or something for a second, but it's a live edge slab. It's a live edge slab and it's, I think it's all made with all um, locally sourced materials. And birch bark in the background. It is the letters. beautiful. Very cool. I don't know. Well, I was trying to hang it up outside, but it's too nice to hang up outside. <laughs> so thank you so much. It is beautiful. If you want something like this, definitely check out her Etsy shop. Um, thank you so much. Sometimes Dominic will move the sheep into an area that we can't really kind of section off with the fence. So he'll let them eat there for a while and he'll just kind of stand and watch guard for them, which is what he's doing now. But when he brought the sheep over, we found another cache of eggs. Well, I should say one of the sheep found another cache of eggs and uh, got attacked by a chicken. Well, not attacked, he was picked. He's fine. Sheep. 
She doesn't want to move. I think she's got a fairly large cache of eggs underneath her, so I'm gonna try to get her out of there. Well, I guess they're kind of bluish. Another cache of eggs found. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've taken you on a little walk around of the homestead to see everything that's going on. So I figured that I would do that today to kind of finish off this video. Um, so first place is we are under one of the apple trees where the sheep happen to be today. Bah. We've still been moving them all around the homestead every couple of days. Um, <laughs> and bah. it's still going very well. You can see that they have some food there. Dominic picked up some uh, throwaway food at our local grocer and apparently sheep like potatoes. They're, you know, they're potato potato about it. They're not really sure. All right, we're leaving the sheep right there and we are moving across the front lawn to come and visit the, uh, the meat chicks. Last week we processed our last batch of meat birds. So these ones moved from the brooder. The brooder is now gone and are out on the pasture for the next few weeks. So let's actually go up here to the garden. A few weeks ago, we kind of revamped our garden and it does not take long to get totally grown in again. Um, but that does not mean that we're not getting some awesome produce out of it. So let's have a look at the carrots. So I am gonna make a soup later. So I'll use these carrots. And we've also been getting a few potatoes. I got a bunch of potatoes yesterday. Um, we had a big chicken dinner and they were so good. So everything is growing really well. And the onions are, we have them just kind of starting to cure in the ground. They've all flopped over. So the next sunny day, we're gonna be taking those out and curing them, but they are really, really great. Onions, carrots, potatoes, all growing really well, which is exactly what we wanted this year. So super happy with that. We've been grabbing a lot of lettuce from our lettuce bed. Um, so it's been going okay, mediocre. So that is a nice little haul from the garden. And now let's head over to the greenhouse to see how our tomatoes are doing. So everything's doing really well in the greenhouse. We're getting a ton of tomatoes coming up now. Um, there's none red right now because we've been eating them as fast as they've been ripening. <laughs> I've got a couple ripening inside. We have lots in the vine. We've been eating them every day. And the peppers, I thought the peppers were a wash and that we were just gonna have to just forget about them. But for whatever reason, the plants like shot up. They got a lot taller. They got a bunch of flowers on them. And now there are peppers starting to grow on all the plants. So. I don't know what happened, I don't know what I did. Maybe they just needed more time, but um, the peppers have been growing, so that has been great. Very happy with that. Um, we're not overwhelmed with ripe tomatoes at this moment. Hoping a month from now we will be. <laughs> but uh, very happy with the greenhouse so far. Let's move on to the pigs. The pigs are happily munching on apples. Um, we have two apple trees on the property and they start falling like around this time. So we gather them up every day because they're not ready to eat yet. You won't be able to eat them until um, after the first frost or a little bit later. So in September, October. Um, but we gather up the fallen ones so they're not just rotting on the ground and we feed them to the pigs and they like them. So they're having a little snack there now. It's super muddy in there right now because it's been raining for days. But I think that other than maybe a thunder shower or two today, we are going to have the next three days be sunny and like 25 degrees so lovely end of summer weather but yeah that's pretty much it i mean dominic is still splitting wood and getting wood all over the place and yeah we've been keeping busy i haven't been vlogging as much but as much as i thought that i would over the summer but that's okay all right here now Thank you. 